we want to welcome everybody back into this space. It's going to be different, and I just want to acknowledge that it's going to feel different um, as we enter into the buildings. Uh, we also just want to make sure that we build community, both with the students that are coming back into uh, the building and the students that have chosen to stay at home and remain in distance learning. I'm curious of what hybrid will look like when I go back to school. If you're coming onto campus for in-person learning, it's going to be a combination of uh, coordinating and working with your teachers still online. So in the mornings, you're still going to log in as you normally do, do the synchronous learning with your teachers in the mornings, and then in the afternoon, you're going to uh, either be doing asynchronous learning on two days a week, or you're going to be on campus uh, two days a week asking questions of your teachers, doing the follow-up, um, working with your peers. Are we going to be able to uh, socialize with our friends and stuff? So one of the big differences that students are going to experience as they're coming back into school is where are the spaces that they would normally go to sort of hang out and relax uh, with their peers. And it's going to be very structured when we come back into buildings. So students are going to be really in spaces with um, their teacher uh, in a classroom moving to a next classroom, and then really ultimately leaving campus. How many students can be in a classroom at one time? Most classrooms uh, will have somewhere between 12 to 15 people in them, including the teacher. Oh, how are we going to be in the hallway? Like, are we going to be six feet? Or? I, I think the, the good piece about um, our hybrid model is it's a, we're coming in cohorts. So the hallways aren't going to be really crowded. The classrooms aren't going to be really crowded. They're not going to be noisy. Like things are a little bit noisy when you have 16, 17, 2,000 students in the halls. So naturally, it's going to be a quieter environment, and it's going to feel a little different because everybody has masks on. What's going to happen with PE and dressing down? So we will have uh, PE classes in session. Uh, the locker rooms will not be available. we're going to have to really focus on as we come back to school is the three real health and safety uh, rules that we need to follow and agree to. One is that we need to make sure that we're wearing masks. The second is we need to make sure that we're washing our hands. And then the third is maintaining physical distance. If I feel sick, can I still come to school? We're asking all students to go through the uh, self-check uh, protocols before they come to school. Uh, if you're going through and you're thinking through how am I feeling and you're, it's a question, we're encouraging students and families to stay home. Students ask if they can use their TriMet pass and the answer is yes. So we had a pickup. Students could take, get their picture taken um, in the fall. Those passes still work. If students don't have their passes, we'll, we'll have a process for them to get their passes, get one made or deliver the ones we have. So as we're coming back into schools, uh, probably the biggest thing is uh, just to remember uh, our generosity and, our, and uh, to be uh, patient with each other. We're learning a lot of uh, protocols that we haven't used before, and we're out of practice about just being in school in general. So as we come back in, uh, we're excited to see each other, and we need to be uh, patient and uh, flexible as well.